Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Beginners. In the previous lesson you learned how to write a letter, just like in the Startdeutsch 1 exam of the Goethe Institut. In today's lesson you'll be learning how to fill a form. This is also a part of the Startdeutsch 1 exam Schreiben. To practice what you learned today, you can download a free worksheet from our page on patreon.com. So, fangen wir an. Let's begin. Lektion 61 Ein Formular ausfüllen When you are in Germany, you'll come across many such situations where you have to fill up a form. So, let's learn how to do it. Das Formular oder die Formulare. For example, das Anmeldeformular, a registration form that you will have to fill in whenever you have to register for a course or school or college. The verb used with Formular is ausfüllen. Ausfüllen is a trennbares Verb. So now we'll be doing some terms that you will come across while filling up a form. Der Name. Mostly, you would fill in your surname in this case. Other words for der Name are der Familienname oder der Nachname. An example would be Schmidt. The next one is der Vorname. For example, David oder Anna. We are learning all these words with their articles, but when on the form, they are written without articles. Let's move on to the next set of terms. Die Adresse So whenever you are writing an address in Germany, do remember to write the name of the street, the house number, the postal code and the name of the city. Like in the example, Goethestrasse 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Berlin. You could also be asked to write them separately. Die Straße, die Hausnummer. For example, Goethestrasse, Hausnummer 10. Der Ort. In this case, you should always mention the place you are living in. For example, Berlin. The next one is die Postleitzahl or abbreviated PLZ that means the postal code. For example, 12345. You could also be asked about the country. Das Land. For example, Deutschland. Here are the next set of terms that you should know. The email adresse. For example, David Schmidt at abc.com. Then you could also be asked for the telephone number or the handy number. Die Muttersprache. In this case, you have to mention your mother tongue. For example, Deutsch or English. Die Staatsangehörigkeit. Noch einmal. Die Staatsangehörigkeit, that means nationality. For example, Deutsch oder Französisch. Here are some more words. Das Alter. You just mention your age. Das Geburtsdatum. In Germany, this is how you write a date. First the day, then the month. And then the year. Also, Tag, Monat, Jahr. Then, Place of Birth, der Geburtsort. Oder das Geburtsland. Another point on the form could be der Familienstand. Noch einmal, der Familienstand. Your answers could be ledig. Verheiratet, verwitwet oder geschieden. If you're married and have children, 
you could be asked about Anzal der Kinder. Another point that could be on the form is das Geschlecht, weiblich oder männlich. The next one is der Beruf. You should be able to mention the profession that you are practicing. If you want to learn what various professions are called in German, you can watch our video on the same. The link can be found below in the description. Some forms are specific and you should know why you are filling them up. There could be a form at the doctor's, there could be a form at the travel agent. Then you should mention, for example, things like das Reiseziel. You could mention any city or country. If you are booking tickets or hotel, you should mention some important dates. For example, der Abflug oder die Abreise oder die Abfahrt. All three words mean the same. They could also come up as verbs in any of the texts that you are supposed to read. Abflug oder Abfliegen, Abreise oder Abreisen, Abfahrt oder Abfahren. Similarly, the next two. Die Ankunft als Verb Ankommen oder die Anreise als Verb Anreisen. You could also be filling up a form for the registration of a course or an examination. Then, for example, you should be able to mention der Prüfungstermin. Noch einmal der Prüfungstermin. And when you are registering for a course, then der Kursbeginn. Let's say you are registering for a club membership. Then you could be asked for your hobbies. Das Hobby. For example, Gitarre spielen oder Fußball spielen. For a list of hobbies in German, you can go through our video on hobbies. The link can be found below in the description. Usually, at the end of every form, there has to be die Unterschrift, das Datum und der Ort. As Unterschrift, you can write your complete name and then you should always mention the place and the date on which you are signing. Here's how an online registration form could look like. These are all the informations that you are required to fill. There are a lot of other places where you could be asked to fill in your details. For example, an online portal. There you could make a Steck brief or a profile. If you have to apply for a job, then you make a resume or der Lebenslauf. But in the examination, Stadt Deutsch 1, you get a different type of a question. Something like this. Sie schenken ihrer Schwester Anja Müller und ihrer Familie eine Reise nach Berlin. Sie möchten für Anja und ihren Mann ein Doppelzimmer und für ihren Sohn ein extra Bett buchen. Die Übernachtung soll mit Frühstück sein. Die Abreise ist am 23.09. und die Rückreise ist am 26.09. Sie möchten die Buchung jetzt mit der Karte zahlen. Füllen Sie die Online-Anfrage des Hotels aus. So here is the form you are supposed to fill in for your sister. Some information is already given. You can pause the video here and write your answers. After that, we can compare. So here are the answers. Name, Vorname, Müller, Anja. Anzahl der Gäste, 3. Anreisedatum, 23.09.2018. Abreisedatum, 26.09.2018. Art der Zimmer, Doppelzimmer. Verpflegung mit Frühstück und Zahlungsart Kreditkarte. If your answers are correct, that's wonderful. 
If you want to practice some more, you can download a free worksheet from our page on patreon.com. Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. You can click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!